Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and this is the next video in my 2023 New Year's Build Project Vlog! And today I'm gonna finally be taking a look at my smart gun, which as you can see is not in the best of shape. Um, I last used this at Jared's Epic Nerf Battles, I think it was 5 and 6 in 2021 when they had uh, two events back to back, which was a nightmare. Uh, it worked perfectly for the first game, no flaws, worked absolutely beautifully, had a wonderful time, lots of great pictures were taken as a result. Uh, then in the, it worked for the beginning, the opening round of the second game, and then just quit working um, right before the uh, YouTubers versus Everything battle. And all I had done is put it down, so I have no idea why it quit working. Uh, I haven't tried to figure it out since I got back from Texas, because I Unfortunately, left it in my car when I got home and it got up to 110 degrees and bits of it got a little melty. And so I just kind of put it away and left it there. And now I'm finally gonna take it, up, take it apart and take a look at it. So here's what it's doing. If we plug in a battery and turn on the blaster, we get that which is the, the motors in, uh, initializing. But there should be a follow-up two beeps that says that everything is good to go, and uh, those follow-up beeps never show up, and it does not rev, it does not fire. Um, so, we're gonna pop it open and take a look, and uh, quite probably just replace pretty much everything. Um, so, uh, here we go. Okay, well, it does appear that there's something wrong with the Arduino. I don't know if, if the Arduino was just gone back if the programming got screwed up or or what but uh, it does power on but then the lights go red which, I don't know what that means, but I'm fairly certain red LEDs on your Arduino are bad. Now, I could simply replace the Arduino. I do have more of them. I could reflash it and try it again, but I intend to simply upgrade the whole system to use a Narfduino, uh, which will hopefully allow me to significantly simplify the wiring because I won't need a buck converter anymore because Narfduinos run on 12 volts. I won't need the MOSFET anymore because I will be using a current sensor. Hopefully, the, pro the potential problem is that the Arduino and the motor controllers might pull enough current to trip the uh, current sensor. Maybe. We won't know until I... Uh actually try it. And actually, I can try it, <laughs> because even if the blaster isn't working, it does still power up. Which means if I plug a modern, a, a newer style proton pack into this, I should be able to tell. Behold, a newer style proton pack. Science. So, okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. So just the motor controllers and the Arduino are pulling enough current to almost activate the tank, but not quite, which is very bad for the tank. Um, so, the, uh, 
this blaster may have to use a non-current sensing system. Or we use this option. We'll see. This may be as far as I go today. I need to go uh, learn how a Narf Duino works and breadboard out, out uh, the circuit for it. Until next time, <laughs> we'll see how much I actually get done over the between now and uh, Monday when I uh, when this video should be going live. But this may very much be an in progress as we go thing. So I know what's wrong, or I know which component went bad. Um, I may try simply fixing it and uh, getting this up and running again whilst also working on the Narf Duino. We will see. We will see. So, uh, well, there we are for now. We'll see if I add any more to this video later.